Hello my little crafty monsters. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous. So in today's fabulous video, this is video number three. Is got yeah, video number three. Why did I pick up this hand? What are you doing, sir? Just this one. Just listen to this one. I don't know what the other one's doing. It is video number three of our Halloween card series. Now I just say card because it's basically you could use them for whatever. You could use them as an invitation, you could use them as a greeting card, you could use them as a birthday card, uh, whatever you like, you know? So, um, I like I was saying in the other videos, I've been trying to keep them easy, I've been trying to keep them to where, you know, you can use very little materials and you could basically put it together without having to buy extra materials or all that stuff. So, this video, we are making these little bad boys here. How fucking adorable. Oh, shit. No, stop. How adorable are these? Oh, my God. You guys are getting out of control. Okay, you guys take a breather. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. I know these are so cute. I know. I know. But you guys don't have to be getting crazy. You're going to get us booted out of this place. You probably won't. I've seen other YouTubes say worse. But <laughs> please control yourself, my little monsters. Acting like monsters up in here. So anyway, these are them, guys. Aren't they cute? <clears throat> or how do we always say? They are adorable. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. We basically just need a few tools. Now, if you don't have the dies that we used here for these little um, scallop thingy ones that we used, you can use any scallop circle or you can use any circles. The whole idea of this now was basically just the layering, okay? It's just layering. I layered circles in the back. That's all I did. There was nothing special. There was no special little circles I used. I just layered them. So use whatever circles you guys want. Use whatever shape you guys want. You guys could use a diamond. You guys could use a circle. You guys could use um, a scallop circle, like I said. There's so many things that you guys could use. Now, and on this one, it's just a stamp that I purchased at Michael's, and that is this year's 2018, FYI, in case you guys didn't know what year we're in. Um, that's this year's, and if you guys really, really want this stamp, I would honestly say go out there right now, right now, guys. No, wait, 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 wait. Finish watching the video and then go out there. I don't want you guys pausing it. Knowing you guys, you probably will forget to come back and watch me again. And I don't want you guys to do that because then you're going to miss all this goodness, you know? So, like I said, they have these at Michael's. You guys head out over there right now. They have the little mermaid and the little unicorn, the zombie unicorn. Isn't he adorable? He's adorable. Now, FYI. I put glitter and glossy accents. I don't know if you could see them. Oh well, you probably can't see it. But anyway, and um, and basically in the back here, I just used some DSP paper from a paper pack that I have. Um, it's the Halloween pack. If you guys, is it in the hall? I don't know if it's in the hall, but I will put a link in the bottom of this video on the paper pack that I use. Um, but I would head out to Michael's right now, seriously. No, after the video. Why do I keep saying that? Don't go anywhere. I would head out there after the video and I would actually purchase some because they are running out and I have some insiders at Michael's and they have all told me, all of them have told me that they are not going to replenish the Halloween stock. So seriously, go out there and get them. I use some DSP paper and then I also use some bows that we did on another tutorial that I'm gonna put the link down there too but if you haven't checked that tutorial out you guys head on over to our channel after this video and check out how we made these little paper bowls 
because you're going to need them for this project. And then I use these little plastic, um, like, gems or beads. They're black and they're hard. And I use one of those in the middle of the little, the little bow. Okay, and like I said, there really isn't anything else that you need, anything special. You got the tools, guys, in your craft room, in your stashes. Uh, a lot of these things were actually using um, scraps that I have left over as well. So use up your scraps, you guys. Get creative. I want to see what you guys come up with. And without wasting any more time, let's head down to the desk and let's get cracking on these little bad boys. And I will see you guys in a bit. Hola, my little crafty monsters. So right here, we're gonna do the zombie unicorn and the zombie mermaid. And we're gonna start off by cutting down the mats. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the, disc, the measurements on the top. Now out of a 12 by 12, you get three. Actually, you get six of them, so you'll be able to do six cards out of one paper. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and glue everything onto the card base. If you guys need to learn how to do the card bases, I have a tutorial on card base, card making, and basic card 101, or something like that. <laughs> so once we have that done, then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is basically die cutting the circles. Look at these brand new little cutting pads. Isn't that awesome? So I'm gonna use this silver glitter paper to do these little scallop laced circles. I don't know what they're called. And I'm gonna cut out two of them because we're, we are going to make two cards. Then after this, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the next circle, which is going to be the, um, the orange, the little tiny circle. This is a circle that I purchased out of AliExpress and it has a stitch, which I thought worked perfect for zombies. And then I'm gonna move on to the purple little scallop laced, which is the next size underneath the bigger, the big one that we just used. And um, so we'll just go ahead and die cut that out of this purple paper and do two of those. I hope you guys try this card. They're so pretty, I like them. You can use any DSP paper you guys want. You don't have to use the one that I have. Use whatever you got, guys. Use whatever construction paper you have. Use whatever circle dies you have. <laughs> it's really just about layering all layers. Right here, I'm using this mixed media, and I use this to, to do my watercolor markers. And um, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the mermaid and the unicorn. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and color it with our pastel Tombow markers, watercolors, and our portrait palette. So now we're just going to go ahead and stamp everything. Now, you're going to notice that right here, I was lucky enough that the unicorn came out okay, but my mermaid did not come out okay. So I had to go pull out the Sizzix stamping tool, and that little stamping tool is pretty awesome because it helps you really get a sharp, sharp stamp. You're going to notice right here on her little buttocks area. It's not really showing. The tail is kind of light and somewhere around the hair, it's just, it just doesn't look right. So I'm gonna go ahead. I was gonna try to color it and I said, nah. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get the stamping tool by Sizzix and 
I am going to use that to stamp and you're going to notice that it's going to get a cleaner, crisper cut. Not cut, sorry, stamp. And um, then after this we will be coloring them and then after we color them we're going to um, cut them out. Now I'm just using kind of like a flesh color kind of tan for her skin. I'm not really worried about the color for one because I'm colorblind and I'm not going to try to do the shading because it's just going to probably look horrible. So I'm just going with the colors that I think is appropriate for that area. <laughs> How do I know the colors on these markers is because I have a little color chart in the back and these markers have numbers so I go by numbers and by the chart you'll notice that I keep looking in the back of the the box and that's because I'm looking at the color with the number I know that I'm using lavender for the horse and I'm just using lavender as a shadow and then I go in with the colorless blender and kind of smooth that out so it's just kind of like a shadow I want the majority of him to be white, but I do want some color in there. Then I just clean it off. Right here, I'm also using a little bit of that same lavender onto a few tips. And I believe this is like a pink. And then I think after this, I use a green. Oh no, I use yellow, sorry because I colored the horn and I colored the horn yellow. Then I use, a, I think, a green. You guys could basically color this whatever color you guys want. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. It's just what I decided to color them. And then after you finish coloring the little areas, then all you gotta do is just cut the little bad boy out. And then you're gonna be ready to start decorating and putting everything together. I think this is the part that takes the most time is the stamping and the cutting and then the coloring. But it's, it's so worth it, trust me. So worth it. These Tim Holtz scissors really, really help. And I always trade in the big scissors to cut big areas and then I come in with the little smaller ones to do all the small details. If I needed to do smaller details in this I would even um, pull out the smaller ones by Tim Holtz because they have an even smaller one than this and uh, cut that out. Having the right tools really makes everything so much easier and so much better. And especially when the tools are amazing, like these scissors. Now I'm gonna just cut the little reindeer. Now if you guys don't have this unicorn, I mean the reindeer, why did I say reindeer? If you guys don't have this unicorn or the little mermaid, okay, I'm already thinking about Christmas cards, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you guys could definitely use any image that you guys have. It doesn't have to be these ones. Um, some of you might not even be in luck to be able to purchase these because they might be sold out. But if you do get your hands on them, awesome. But if you don't, don't feel bad because you could use any image that you want. Right here, I'm just using some foam adhesives some little dimensionals to kind of make this stand out. The circles, I'm gonna glue them flat, but I want these images to be raised. So that's why I'm doing that. And then I'm just cutting them into strips so they fit the area a little bit easier. So now we're just gonna glue everything. I use regular glue for the glitter, for the back of it, because it's regular paper. 
But when I'm gonna glue something on top of glitter, I like to use the hot glue gun because the Eileen's won't really stick onto it. I've done it before, but it has came off before. So that's why I use a hot glue gun when I'm gonna stick onto glitter. That just secures it. It's just a lot more secure. Then you're just putting everything together and making making sure that everything's aligned and then after that just pop in the little images and you guys are almost done. After this we're going to go ahead and put the bow and the little paper bowls. There's a tutorial if you guys haven't seen that. Um, it's paper bowls and it'll show you how to make those if you have dies, if you don't have dies, if you have a Sizzix. Um, I mean, if you have a Cricut, you basically will be taught how to do it three ways. And then after we glue these little paper bowls onto these little bad boys right here, we're going to use these little black um, heart gems that I purchased at downtown LA. I'm going to have a link on the little hookup place I go to for my little crafting goods. I buy everything by bulk there and it's really reasonable so it's worth it. And there you have it guys. The beautiful Miss Mystical and zombie. Welcome card. back, my little crafty monsters. There you have it. That's how you make these little bad boys. You see, guys, it was not really that hard. It was simple. I mean, like I said, you guys have all the tools that you guys need. Now, um, the DSP paper that we used in the back right here in the background of these cards are from this DSP paper that I purchased at Michael's. So it is called the Hocus Pocus. And um, go ahead and head out to your Michaels and go and purchase this because you guys will. If I mean, if you guys want to duplicate these ones exactly the way they are, so um, go ahead and purchase that paper there. That's basically what it looks like. Okay. And so that was the video, guys. I want to see how creative you guys get. Come on, show me the cards, you guys. Show me the goods, okay? So head on over to our Facebook channel. Why channel? That's not even a channel. Stop it. It's a page. Head on over to our Facebook page and um, post one of the pictures of your guys' Halloween cards, whatever you guys make, either a Halloween card or an invitation, whatever it is. I want to see it. I want to see the goods. Um, also, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and also that little bell icon for notification so that you guys will get notified every time I upload a video because I know you guys do not want to miss out on these fabulous videos. And also, stay tuned for the last video, the last video, guys, of our Halloween card series. And it's going to be the grand finale one, which I'm sure you guys are going to love. And um, stay tuned for that one, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Goodbye for now, my little crafty monsters.